My fellow Tropicans, allow me, Presidente Morte, to welcome you to the new Tropico. Previously, we threw off the shackles of our Imperial Masters and declared our independence. No longer will we slave away under the thumb of some distant despot. No longer will your blood, your sweat, and your tears be squandered on frivolous underwater palaces, but on proper tropican palaces, guarded by the finest mercenaries in all of the Caribbean. You, the glorious people of Tropico, have, by popular vote, elected me as steward of this budding nation. The coming years will not be without their trials, but we are Tropicans. We will endure. Storms may batter our homes, but not our spirits. The seas may swallow our industries, but we will build. Volcanoes may rain fiery death on our fields, but it shall pale beside the inferno, a passion that burns in every tropican heart. Other nations may try to use us as pawns, but we will never again bend knee to a foreign, to a foreign ruler. Pirates may assault our shores, but we will stand firm. Yes, the coming years will be hard, but we will endure, because we are Tropicans. That's what we do. We are now out of the colonial phase. And into the world war phase. Our mission is, we will endure, survive numerous invasions. Of the two maps, uh, Bao Bao has the least or the smallest shoreline and I think would be the easiest to defend so that is what we're going to play my fellow tropicans today a new enemy rises to threaten my way of life my freedom and my strategic banana reserves without provocation Ila Rojo has declared war on our great nation now is not the time for fear, Tropico. We will face this threat head on, and we will endure. We will defend our shores, and we will endure. Like our llamas, we shall spit in the eye of any enemy that treads on our soil. We will endure. Viva Tropico! All right, so we're starting out with, oh, with the Constitution, of course. Wealthy citizens vote. Secular state. Armed forces I want. I want militia. I think militia will be best for us. Out with the old and in with the new. El Presidente's legal team has finally tuned our Constitution. So it is 53% better than the old one. It even uses one of those fancy serif fonts for the text. Ooh, fancy. This must be a fort, yes. We have no trade going on, but what do we have producing? Corn? Cocoa? Cattle, 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 and more cattle. Though, none of these are particularly good. A couple of logging camps. Just some taverns, though not enough. Um, housing does not seem to be as high as it needs to be. This actually looks just like the last map that we did, doesn't it? So we actually... Oh, there's continuity? Is that what they're saying? That's pretty interesting. So we're playing the same map that we had at the end of last episode. So we should have, yeah, we have the mine over here. And I thought these were better off... Did the terrain change? Because those used to be better at stuff. This is very interesting. I did not know it did this. How do I rotate? There we go. Apparently we don't have enough people here. We do have the library, so let's go ahead and look at some research. We can have power plant, constitution options, 
Um, an embassy? I think I'm going to go with probably the power plant. Because getting some steel would be nice. Ooh, tanks would also be great. Though we need two of them, so we'll go with... Political rights, labor policy, and citizenship. Don't already have those? No, I don't think I do. So I'll grab those two. Then we'll go with the steel mill and tanks. And we'll leave it like that. Draw dot. Map is revealed. Research for technologies. So that reveals the whole map. Alright. How far can we get? Unlocked in the Cold War. So we can get quite a ways. Bribes. Bribes. Now that is some technology that I I can I can like. So trade, what do we have in terms of trade? Wool or sugar? Logs. Steel. Steel's an import though. We'll go ahead and put somebody on the logs since we have those. We also have, I believe. Yeah, planks. So we'll be exporting those. And we can build a ooh, we can build better house tenements. Ha! Oh, we're still going to stick a country home there. Because country homes like to be close together. But we'll also Unlocked in Cold War. Twelve families. Yeah, I'll put it right there. Even it gets a new construction looking thing. That's awesome. That should be enough there. All that's going to be good. At least this is one of our better money producing ones. Let's check our almanac. We have 12 unemployed but 7 open jobs. We're going to put a mine here. So, raw resources. A mine. Let's see, how do I want to connect that up? Probably just straight. There. And there. Some more work. I want to do some exploration because I think here looks like a good spot. So how do I do that? You... Right, I also need some education. Education. Ancient ruins. Okay. And for wealthy citizens. Cultural people. Clinic. Oh, we get a clinic now. Healthcare. A church. A proper church. A newspaper. And a police station. A high school and a college and an observatory. We'll go with the high school first since we need that. What next? Um, I don't think we need the college just yet. Lighthouse. Barracks? What does barracks do? Provides a squad of infantry. I think we'll go with a church. Can we replace that? Or should we replace that even? That actually should have probably been put somewhere else. We could put it over here by the military fort, because you know. Soldiers are religious. No atheists and foxholes. Clinic. Clinic would be kind of awesome. I don't know what, sh what it means by living in the vicinity, though. I do know I don't have enough room for any of this stuff. But... At 
looks like I could probably put it here. This is going to be something we're going to probably have to demolish a lot of this stuff and rebuild it better at a later date. In fact, I would really like to move this. Um, is that all of the stuff? I guess I should plan things out. Okay, so I got the full amount back. So if I do it this way, that's probably going to be better, assuming I have enough room for a road. Let's make sure. Housing. We do that there. Build a road. That's not a road. There we go. Road through there. Then can we squeeze in the high school? Oops. I do not like the way the think roads work. Research and education. And we cannot fit it in now. So I'll put it over here by the library. That's a good place for it to be. Clinic. Uh, did we get the church? Maybe I should move the church over here somewhere. Yes, let's do that. So, cancel construction. Build a church. Yeah, that'll fit right in there. Then we'll also build a police station after we demolish this. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so that takes a while to demolish. Everyone's busy. All you lonely souls out there, this is Lulu, your radio host at the Jolly Roger Bar and Radio. Stay tuned for the best Tropico can offer, or even better, come and join me for a drink on the beach. Alrighty then. Uh, police station is good. That's that. Now then we just need some more entertainment, I think. Luxury entertainment. Entertainment. Ah, oh, we get a restaurant now. Fries and increases based on the food variety. Alright. Takes more people to do whatever it does. But we'll put it over here next to whatever that was. The church. Yeah, I always go to oh, eat lunch after I go to church. <laughs> it's one of the family things we do. So having a restaurant will be convenient. Though I guess if you're Catholic you have a farther to go. But that's okay. Alright, that should be enough population stuff. Let's let this run a little bit. We don't have very much in the way of deals and stuff. Though apparently we just got a whole bunch of money from something. Holy crap! Never piss off a woman. Um, can we quick build this? Can we build... some guard towers? Oh crap, they're going after the farm. Leave the farm alone. Damn you. What? Is he never piss off a woman? We're coming for you. Let's say they have attack 50. What? Whoa, hey, our attacks are much lower. But we have higher health. And more people? I guess that's why we have higher health, because we have more people. They are the way better. Treasury being at an all-time low. Some analysts are saying they are unsure about our financial prospects at this point. El Presidente assured them that he will tell them what to think when the proper time comes. 
Oh, this is not good. I think we might lose. Unless they run away. I did not think the things were going to start so soon. There wasn't even a mission or anything. Are they going for the palace? No, they're going for the farms. Leave the farms alone! You sheep murderers! Uh, we have people. Oh, good. We have a perfect business opportunity. We can make a huge profit off the misfortune of others. I love this stuff. All now right. we have them right where we want them. Time for a little gouging. I really should see about getting myself a villainous laugh. <laughs> All right, let's, let's increase the price of milk. Oh, wait, there was two. Where's the other one go? Well, that sucks. Uh, how about trade? Okay, good. We have logs, coal, bauxite, pineapples, milk, meat. Those are imports, right? Lots of stuff we can import. Not a whole lot we can export. Why would I want to import that? Can I export it again? I could import tobacco and then export it. Add a ship and then... I don't have any ships. Okay. Remove ship. Sugar I could do the same. Do I need anything special with the sugar? I need 70 standing. Okay. I need 60 standing, I need standing, and I need to stand. I'm not sure if we're producing wool or not. Um, might be. I forget what kind of farm this is. Produces milk, meat, and wool. So what time is this? Oh, this is pig, so it produces meat. What are we going to do about these guys? Hmm. We are exporting the milk. Rather quickly, too. Uh, we'll rebuild. Let's make this a high priority. Why aren't you finished building that? Where's the militia? How do I raise a militia? There goes some Ilerojo stuff. Ilerojo troops are attacking your newly independent country. I noticed this that. This ridiculous conflict is undesirable. Put an end to it as soon as possible. The order enforced a temporary ceasefire by your enemies from Ila Rojo will attack again in full force the moment the ceasefire ends. <clears throat> I would do what I can to delay them while we prepare de your defenses. I think that means I will do what I can to delay them. My new apprentice, apprentice Adriana Diaz, will assist you with this task. Ceasefire will hold for eight years. Except. Rebuild! Well, I guess they didn't do too much damage. Um, can I explore? Yes. I wanted to explore over here. According to your newly appointed Chief of Staff, General Panultimo, there is no better way to improve the defender's morale than sticking some flags in high places. I am somewhat skeptical about the morale effect but new guard towers will surely prove useful against the invading forces. Except. Hey, flags. Flags are awesome. If we could get some high school going, that would be even better. 
These produce milk, don't they? Yes. So we're doing good there. I would like to produce some trade. Somebody want to buy my planks? Logs, logs, and more logs. We might import the coal. It's not that expensive. Can we even... We could, but it's expensive. So why would we ever want to take that? I don't know. Where the hell are our constructors? Well, they're here. They just aren't doing a whole lot, are they? Mm, how is our... We have 13 unemployed and 8 open jobs. Should I quick build this, maybe? Let's see how we're doing on money after this freighter gets here. Logs and iron is what we're exporting. Alright, uh, we want to build, bump up the priority of that. Of that. And of uh, that. <clears throat> um, just so that we can get some more money going. Literate, illiterate. Do you guys have any managers? Yes, you still have managers. That's good too. Okay, we only got 4,000 of that. It's not very much. There's no milk on either of those milk here. Visitors a hundred. Oh wow, our approval rating is pretty high. Oh, and we have that building permit thing. Forgot about that. That's awesome. I didn't know that the edicts keep in effect. Ah, then, now we have some money. Now if we could just have some people. May quick build some stuff. Did he explore this? This is Boxite. And I don't know what that is. It won't tell me. Okay. We will. Do some more exploring. There. And we'll send one over to that mine, too. Actually, another exploring over... There was another mine around here somewhere. There's that. We'll go over here. That should help. Are we researching anything? It's a research proceeding. Two months remaining, two months remaining. Six months, six months. Are they each going at the same time? I think they are. That's interesting. It's like we have people here now. Ah, and our corn is back. One plantation is back. Now we're getting there. Since that gets built, things will be a lot better. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Or a lot faster, in fact. So we discovered this now. Hmm. Cash flow has increased. 
My books on psychology say I should offer you a reward so you'll start making smarter choices more often. I'm going to take the Haskell workers. A glorious invention, Presidente. Electricity. It's like organized lightning. There's no better way to put it. And you can make your own with a balloon and a little friction. Just like making fart noises. <laughs> okay. Um, our chief of science right there. We need more people. We need more workers. How do we get more people? I don't, in fact, know how that works. Maybe it's living space? I hope it's living space, because we're about to have a bunch. Yeah, five citizens have arrived. Are you still good at producing cocoa? You are good. Great. Wonderful. What I need is more exploration. You come explore way over here. Ooh, we have I don't this. like that Adriana lady, Presidente. She is never nice to me. She calls me names like Baboon and does not like my plans, even when they are bound to work. For example, I proposed to use a fisherman fleet to lay mines in our waters and she just laughed at me. We will do it, won't we, Presidente? <laughs> Please? Build two fishing wars. Delay the invasion by 12 months. Except. Fish. I like fish. Fish tastes wonderful. Speaking of fish, where are the fish? Looks like they're over here. Is there any mines along the shore? It doesn't look like it. Fish. Just two of them. Yeah. Fish there, and I guess we need to click on it again. Can we maybe do this? Unexplored territory. There we go. Hopefully, you can reach that far. Then we will build a little road. Which will come through there. And that's not good. Uh, delete. Okay, where's the demolish thing? There we go. Now then we'll build the road. Okay, we won't build the road then. How about now? One of these are going to work. I promise. They have to. Okay, finally. Ceasefire. We do have lots of money, we just don't have lots of people. Um, activate. Okay, can we do anything else with this upgrades? Putting us outside, housing quality decrease. That's not too bad. Does that work for all houses? Housing quality has increased by 10. Ooh, 71,000. What does modernize it do? Ah, so it becomes a house. I did not know we could do that. That's pretty awesome. Lowers crime. Unlocked in modern times. Housing quality is increased by 20. So what is your housing quality? Housing quality is 53 compared to that, which is less. Modernize some more houses. Especially these over here. 
That'll be a good thing for our money. And these can hold more people? That is wonderful. Ooh, another mission. Our mentor Leon Kane taught me there is no such thing as excessive force when resolving a military conflict. A larger standing army with an emphasis on armor vehicles will certainly shake the resolve of the invaders. Have two army bases. Delay the invasion by two months. Or 24 months. Two years. We still have plenty of time. We just don't have workers and stuff. Ah, I remember my own high school years. I was an acne covered menace back then. The head cheerleader once stole my jock boyfriend Raul. So I made her eat her own pom-poms. Then I said to Raul, You can't dump me, I'll dump you! And promptly pushed him in a cesspit. Luckily, I've changed for the better since then. <laughs> um, okay. Coal, that is what I wanted. More coal, that is also what I wanted. Now then, we just need to get there. More money. Excellent. How are we doing on our other things? Can we build uranium power plants now? Probably not until the Cold War. Let's see. Geothermal plant. Modern times. Nuclear plant. Cold War. Modern times. Uh, power plant. Requires... Stuff. Interesting. Oh, well, we can build a parking lot now. Ooh. Put that over here. And we'll put another one like over here. So that the people can get there. Actually, let's build it a little bit between the two, maybe. Possibly. Could work. President, Tropicans await elections next year. They wish to show their everlasting love and respect for you. They may have used different words, but that does not matter. <laughs> what matters most is that you have to decide whether to give them elections or not. Also, so con consider which members of your dynasty will run for president. Preliminary polls show that 62% of the people will vote for you. Yes, of course. I know every citizen will show his support for me. Ah, uh, foreman... Unassigned, El Presidente. Oh, yeah. Presidente, I hereby with to four require you on the habeas cojones to execute a writ with a novation decreeing a parais to one penultimo, hereby referred to as the penultimate party. Should you fail to comply, you shall thereby to four be nounced as a tortfeasor, and the tropical people shall be taught the language of legalese. Okay, constitution options. Right. Police state every police <laughs> Every policeman convinces one voter to vote for you. Security and peace are privileges and priorities of the state which has the right to reform all forms of censorship and control to support these values. Citizens who violate the public norms set by the state have the right to censor. <laughs> Um, late retirement, normal life security. All citizens who happen to reach the age of 16 are obliged to provide their mental and physical labor to the state in return of the lives, security, and subsistence provided by the state. The state is obliged as shock worker heroes. <laughs> the state is obliged to entitle these citizens who abide by this Constitution Act as shock worker heroes of Tropico. Immigrant nations open borders. Persons of good who happen to unfortunately find themselves not citizens of Tropico are to be admitted freely to settle within the borders of the state so long as they observe the goodwill of El Presidente. This is a wonderful thing. Guarded Haven, Immigrant Nation, Visa Program. Okay, that's the one. I like that. That's interesting. I'm going to go with Immigrant Nation. Uh, work for All, Workers Paradise, Early Retirement, High Job Happiness. 
age of 13. Life expectancy and job happiness reduced. I'm going to... <laughs> All citizens who happen to reach the age of 16 are allowed to provide their mental and physical labor to the state. They have the right to leave the workforce of the state at the age of 60. Due to, but not limited to, the effect of this article of the Constitution, El Presidente is obliged to give, the, give his best to keep the state away from bankruptcy. I'm going to go with the happy childhood. Uh, police state, that's the one. Totalitarian. Elections happen left often. Vote frauds give 300% more votes. 50% more rebels. Democracy. Mandatory, honest elections that happen more often and no uprisings. Hmm. That's tempting. I'm going to keep... Keep the police state right now. Because the happiness just dropped very, very quickly. And I have no idea what caused it. Is there is an edict I can do? Um, disaster relief fund? Issue? I'm not sure if that's actually going to do anything. Increases crime and liberty. Uh, extra rations issue. What was that other one? Urban development? Sure, we'll do that. Issue. That'll make people happier. Yeah, now we're at 65%. Ooh, another mission. Well, hello there, old pal. America is all gloomy and doomy at the moment. I can't have that. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's mopery. We must take immediate action. Have your men send fruit baskets to every American man, woman, and child. Export 10,000 fruit. Except, I like fruit. I don't know if cocoa beans count as fruit, though. I know they're not technically fruit, but I don't know if they count as fruit for this. We'll find out. Let's make sure we turn off local consumption. Okay, there is no local consumption. Are we... we have cocoa? That count as fruit? No, it doesn't look like it. Let's see what kind of fruits we can build. Fruit. Fruit is going to be raw resources. Plantation. So, bananas, not so great. Pineapples. Hmm, that could work. Sugar, tobacco, pineapples or bananas are kind of the only options for fruit. And I think pineapples went out. Of course they do. Pineapples are better. Unless you want banana pudding. In which case, uh, you have to give it to bananas. Pineapples don't make very good banana pudding. 72%. Wow, we are just owning this election. We have lots and lots of money. Let's upgrade some more houses. Uh, ooh, we can modernize all. Look at that. Whoa. Look at all the extra housing space we have. Army bases, we need those towers built. I might want to build another construction office, but I don't think I have the workers. Yes, I do not have the workers. Yet. What just happened there? Oh, we must have used up all the wood. Oh, another General Penultimo has had yet another plot to delay our enemies. His keen military intelligence has determined that we should get all of them drunk. Frankly, I'm not sure why you keep this buffoon around. You are not going to forward you're not going to go forward with this ridiculous idea, are you? 
Um, of course we're going to go for one with this Rikishi's idea. If we, if we didn't do something just because it was ridiculous, we'd never get anything done. Oh, and we're like way over time. So, like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.